Hello, and welcome to another episode of Something Something Chat Show with Tom Jr. Jackson. I am your host, as always, Tom Jr. Jackson, and this is after the move, after the show review, She Hulk Attorney at Law, episode nine, the season finale. And I am, as always, your host, Tom Jr. Jackson. But first, please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. It helps my show, my channel grow, gets me out there. And also, uh, you know, it shows me you can. Uh, please check the, down below for where we have some links. Uh, please check out Positive Fandom with your host, RM, my friend, my, my collaborator, um, my, my co-conspirator. No, we're not co-conspirators. Who are we? Dun, dun, dun. No, um, on her channel, she does unboxings. She does reviews such as movie, television, uh, theatrical trailers. Uh, she does re uh, theatrical trailer reactions. She does out of the theater reviews. And then she has a Sunday morning show called Sunday Brunch Live every Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 a.m. Pacific time, where, they, where she and her co-host, co-host Russell Whitfield uh, parlay about all the pop culture that's fit to fit into a show. So check that out. And speaking of RM, she has a show on the Post Geek Singularity channel, which is run by Robert Murray Burnett. And what is the show? What is the newest show on the Post Geek Singularity? And what is the show? It's called Ladies of the PGS, where uh, they embrace uh, masculinity. They talk about um, uh, horror, sci-fi, Star Wars, Star Trek, Marvel, DC, and sex, and much, much more. Check that out. And that's every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time, live on the Post Geek Singularity YouTube channel. And for as low as 99 cents, you too can join the, po the Post Geek Singularity channel where you can talk with the host of the channel, Robert Meyer Burnett, who has made movies such as Free Enterprise. He produced Tango Shalom. He and edited it as well. He's done um, Dota. Dragon's Blood, he was the animatic editor on that. Um, he's done the special features for uh, the first two X-Men movies. He's done the special features for the Lord of the Rings, the first two Lord of the Rings films, and um, The Usual Suspects as well, and Superman Returns, which he was in. If you watch that scene where they're in the bar and there's a television on in the background and there's a news reporter on there. That's Robert Meyer Burnett, my friends. Check him out. He's got shows on his channel as well. Midnight Musings, Midnight Metal, Let's Get Physical Media, uh, Fully Articulated, Whining About Movies, and Observations with your host, the captain, Robert Meyer Burnett. So check out Post Geek Singularity and Positive fandom. And now, on with the review. So join me. Shall you? She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Episode 9. All episodes are now streaming on Disney+. Plus. I loved this episode so much from the call back to the original Incredible Hulk TV show to the very much 
breaking of the fourth wall a lot through this episode. I mean, there was a lot of fourth wall breaking. And this is, this is by far, I mean, and I've liked a lot of the episodes. I've enjoyed them. This one had to be my favorite because they gave you, they gave us everything, everything in this episode that I would want to see. At one point, at one point in this episode, I literally thought that I accidentally hit my remote and went back to the menu. That's how fourth wall this show was today. Um, Tatiana Mosley, I think that's how you say her name. I could be wrong, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Has been brilliant, brilliant in this show. Very funny, very much in in tune with the show. Um, and it, it's really funny how a lot of the stuff that people complained about, they actually addressed in this episode as well. They broke the fourth wall and started addressing this stuff. And the fact that at one point they actually went to the offices of Marvel in this. Excuse me, that's how fourth wall this episode was. And they brought back Mark Lynn Baker, who was in Perfect Strangers. He was also in My Favorite Year with Peter O'Toole. Good classic movie for you to check out, too, by the way. If anything, check that movie out, My Favorite Year. Good movie. Um, this show, very decisive for a lot of people. A lot of people didn't like it. Some people liked it. Some people didn't like it. And it's all okay. It's understandable. This is all my opinion. This is how I feel about it. And you don't have to agree with it. And I 100% agree. I 100% I, I respect if you did not like the show. I 100% respect if you did as well. I liked that this show had no slow beats this episode it was just go 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 and it all built up to this and some people would say well it doesn't i don't understand where it's going well sometimes you don't have to understand what's going sometimes you just go with it go with the flow and i went with the flow on this episode and i loved it to the point where I wanted to rewatch it again as soon as it ended. But I wanted to come and do this. It is 3.47 in the morning. The show ended about 3.25, something like that for me. Um, I liked it. I loved it. And I seriously hope there's a season two. If not a season two, I'd like to see her in the movies as well. And they brought back some returning characters on the show. They made a big surprise announcement on the show. And I have to say, I'm, I was pretty satisfied with this episode. I really was. I really liked the tone of this show, and it was different. And it was all over the place, yes. But 
a little chaos is fine. It really is fine. And I, I, I want Funko Pops based on these characters. I want the Daredevil. I want the Hulk. I want She-Hulk. I want Titania. Let's talk about Jamil. I cannot pronounce her last name. I can't remember her full name. And I'm very sorry. The woman that plays Titania. She's beautiful. Okay. Just beautiful. Very nice to look at. Um, and she's so funny. She's very funny as well. She knows what funny is. And if you want to see her, the woman that played Titania a bit more, go look up, and I think it may be on Peacock, a show called The Good Place. She is very funny on that show. She's a very, very funny um, person as well from, from, uh, from people that I, I know that have seen her in person. It, it, she, she is um, fantastic. And um, yeah. Very, very much, you know, love, love, love her. Um, Tatiana Mazali. I've, I've loved her work since Orphan Black. And there are times where I really would like to get the whole Blu-ray collection of Orphan Black. I only have the first season on Blu-ray, but I would like to get the other episode, other, other, season, other season. She's fantastic on that show. She's fantastic on Over and Black. She's fantastic in this movie as well. I mean, this show as well. And I think I think of, of the Marvel shows. This show has made me laugh a lot, but it's also one of my favorites. You know, I, I, I really, really enjoyed this. And I want to see more of this character. I want to see more of this tone for the character. I want to see either a, a season two or a She-Hulk movie where it's just like this, but I want to see her team up with Deadpool and just have that be fighting with uh, fourth wall breaking, which I know a lot of people would like to see as well. So there is that. <clears throat> so all in all, all the episodes of She-Hulk are now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Check them out if you'd like. Watch them, enjoy them. Did you enjoy this season finale? Let me know in the comments. What did you like about it? Um, Let me know. And uh, who is your favorite Marvel character? And, and what Marvel pro project are you awaiting to see um, in the future? Let me know in the comments as well. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for and for checking out my She-Hulk uh, reviews. You may not have agreed with them, and that's fine. That's fine. I, I, it's just an opinion. That's all it is. You know, it's my opinion. No one has to agree with it. Um, check out the other playlists on my channel. There are interviews that are coming soon. And I will see you around the bend for another interview, another interview, another review of something else.
maybe a book review, maybe a movie review, you'll never know. So until next time, folks, please remember, whoever you are, whoever you are, wherever you may be, whether it be here, there, anywhere, or any place in the 29 known galaxies, please remember, we are all goof people. Thank you, and have a pleasant tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.